Undertale stream is happening Friday night about 7, same as last week. There, I made the announcement. Now I don't have to say it again. So anyway, what's the deal with this? That's all I got. Okay, so what is this place? What? What the fuck is this? Oh my. Alright, um, does this actually... No, I can't talk to the toad, it's just favorite color. Um, I think green is my favorite of these choices, let me just look. Yeah, it is, okay. And this is semi-interesting, I suppose. I guess it's just random stat screen, why not? Okay, is there anything else in here? How about you? What's your What's your story? Also, you can't even see over the counter. And I thought you had really weird eyes, but you don't actually. Mini games, huh? Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious if these are just bonus content or if you get stars from them. Also, totally not the jukebox from Jolly Rogers. Lagoon? I never remember which is which. I think it's Lagoon. Whack them all, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll go for it after I... Oh, okay, that was a good way to get stuck. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get out because uh, pressing A usually just talks to the toad again. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Why not? Yeah, I I was about to say, even before I heard the music kick in, this is reminding me of a freaking DK64 minigame. And it, uh, it was accurate. I assume, since there's a high score already listed, my goal is to beat that. If I don't get anything for doing that, I will probably not try the minigame again, at least not now. I may have to come back later on in the game if it turns out, to, like, to get the star, you need to have the Game Boy. Here's the Game Boy. Here's the Game Boy. You put it together, and what do you find? My opening statement. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Thank you, and good night. I wonder what would happen if I was just left to my own devices and, like, basically was told to string together as many unrelated statements as possible. Like, what what the final result would be. Because it, it might be a bit scary. And it was slimy and smelly and kind of stung my eye. There, there I, I did another attempt at it. However, I stopped after one statement. I did not turn it into 12 more. That is a shame. Come on, give me more. No, you f... Okay. <laughs> I only just frickin' barely got that. And then I just leave. But anyway, that was kinda cool. Hopefully there is not another one for doing much better than that, but... If there is, I'll find out at some point. I don't know what this minigame is. It immediately reminds me of a thing from one of the GameCube Mario parties where you use the microphone. Oh, yeah, this is just a Mario Kart mini Mario Kart minigame, I think. Yeah. All right. Is this the original music for that minigame? I wouldn't know. Can we get a better camera angle? And it turns out it's pink every single time. I wonder what the odds of that would be. It's kind of hard to tell which one is the one not rumbling, actually. Okay, maybe it's not that hard. Maybe I'm just... I am a neand. You know, a neand. That, that's a word that exists. No, I don't freaking know. So, um... Now that I've already made the Undertale announcement, I will also explain, like, I went into this recording not sure if I was going to do this or not, but uh, I have decided that I am just going to be uploading this on Thursday, and I am doing that because uh, 
at the after the midnight release tonight, uh, Breath of the Wild is going to be conjured into existence. That was pretty cool right there. I liked that. Um, yeah, let's do that again, I guess. It's slightly boring, but it has to be done eventually. But yeah, so... That's going to be streamed on Epona Croutons. Um, it's... We're kind of just streaming it for the sake of it at this point, like... Because the thing is, everybody else is either going to want to be playing that game or is probably streaming it themselves or watching somebody else streaming it because it's the first Zelda game in like 20 fucking years and it's going to be hopefully really good. So I will not be surprised if a, a large, peop large number of people does not show up, but that's fine. It, it's mainly just for archiving. But uh, we're going to be doing that and then that's like a midnight stream, obviously. And then tomorrow, there will probably be more of it, and by probably, I mean there certainly will be. And then the Undertale stream is happening later that night, so that doesn't really give much time for me to record this. So I'm like, I will record it today, that will be good of me. And then I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna upload it, why not? I am bad at this minigame. It's really hard to tell which ones are shaking. So, I'm going to come back and do that later. Let's go ahead and finish up the beach level, I guess. If I even remember what the stars were that I'm missing. Let's see. Never did do the lighthouse. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, nope. Not even going to do the lighthouse. Let's immediately... I hope this music isn't drowning me out. As always, I do an audio test, but sometimes the volume levels between different stages are not consistent. Okay, where's that? Is that the seashell you go in? Yeah. So I assume I just have to kind of be as careful, and by that I mean, gotta be quick! Because there's definitely a star, I can hear it. I don't know why this area would exist if it didn't have a star other than to pay homage to the great punky Brewster. Can we get past the crab? Don't, don't get stuck on the fucking wall, come on. Mmm! That was tasty. Do the coins give air in this game? I don't actually remember. But we're about to find out, because... Surprisingly, this is not the type of playthrough where I only get one chance at everything. I don't know what the hell that statement was supposed to mean. I'm just, I'm trying to imagine a game where, like, try to think of a modern type of game, or even, not even modern, but like a collect-a-thon type game like this, in which, oh, that, that was fun. Try to imagine a game where, like, there's a life counter, and it actually matters. Like, in older games, like, I don't know where I'm going with this statement, just like, obviously in older games, like NES era, if you lose all your lives, game over, sometimes you'll have a continue, but more often than not, you have to just start the entire game over. Try to imagine a game that's, like, modern length and complexity in which that same thing happens, then make it so there's only one life, and then make it so, like, right there, like, maybe not one life, but let's say that I attempt a mission like that, and then after that, the game just permanently locks you out of ever trying it again, and resetting the game doesn't fix it, and also an octopus gets a race car. And I'm trying to make this as stupid as possible because I really have no idea where I'm going with this train of thought. Like, it's just a stupid thing to say in the first place, so I don't know. Whatever, let's uh, put off the lighthouse yet again, because I am kind of curious what it is and therefore must not find out. Let's see what your deal is here. Good. Okay, now I guess we're doing the lighthouse after all. That was beautiful. 
Now imagine a game where if that happens, all of the all the coins in the entire game disappear, and also your N64 turns into a squash, and then the squash rots after a certain amount of time, and if you don't find it in somebody else's house. I'm trying to make this make as, le as little sense as possible. I think I've succeeded so far. I've got I've to make it worse, though. If the squash rots, and if you don't find it in somebody else's house, then... blank. Um, let's see. Then Cracker Jack ceases to be a brand name. That's it. That, that's, that's the final answer. I was going I was going to say Cracker Barrel ceases to be a restaurant, and then I fucked it up, but whatever, we can roll with that. Yeah, I'm having a fun time. I don't know about all you, but I can do this all day. Why can't I make that? I'm immediately going to blame the game, and because I've blamed the game, Twix Rope has now become an actual candy, but I'm not allowed to eat it because I didn't get that one star on my first try. I'm really going to keep harping on that. That's going to be the theme of this video, is like... What if, insert extremely stupid situation here, and also, um, what would it be like if house? Which is apparently my new, like, breakout single. Yeah, that still doesn't work. People really freaking liked that, I don't know why. I mean, I know why, because it was stupid as hell. But, um, it caught on more than I thought it would. It has joined the, uh... I don't even know what to call it. The, uh... This is a song about singing a song, and there once was a song about flavored cakes. One time I peed, and then there was pee, and I cannot believe that there was double pee. That's the name of the song. Alright, there we go. Now, what if I got that star, and that caused a different star in the game to turn into a DK64 banana? And if I get that, then it causes the star that I already got to disappear from the game, and I permanently can't get 100% because of it. Alright. The Dried Out Ocean, featuring Koopa the Quick. Is this a lower water level than before? I... Yeah, I guess it is. That's kind of interesting. But does it have to do with the corks? I'm guessing it probably does, but let's go talk to the Cooper and find out what his story is. That was beautiful! I did not plan that at all, it just worked out wonderfully. And because it worked out wonderfully, every one of these starfish icons on the ground is now going to suddenly cause cancer to an unknown person on the other end of the world, but we don't care because we're Americans and we only care about ourselves. I don't know who we is in this instance, so if you're watching this and you're not American, you are now, apparently. Anyway. Everything is ruined. The drain stopper, huh? Alright, well, let me grab the fire flower, I guess, and go on a whirlwind adventure. Yeah, I'm really not sure where this mission's going. I figured it was just going to be a race, but uh, I'm kind of glad that it isn't, because this isn't really a level suited for racing. There's a hole. Can I go in the hole now? I assume this is where the cork is supposed to go. I don't know how corking up the hole is going to make water suddenly appear again. But, uh, whatever. I still can't get rid of these crabs, probably. Nope. And I don't need to blow those up, so... Can I push the cork? 
Oh, this isn't going to be annoying at all. Alright. Yeah, let's just push it through the enemy. Sounds about right. I mean, I, I knew as soon as I started that that it was a bad idea. And because I've now... <laughs> God damn it, I can't even do it anymore. Because I've now lost that two health... That means that towards the end of the game, when normally I would be expected to have a full life bar, it will remember that I lost that health there and be like, nah ah boy, I can dig up more clams than you, stupid. And then the object of the game is to find parking. Okay, I guess that works. Not really sure what that accomplished, but hey, there's less ocean and that's, and that's fine by me. Crab felt the need to inject itself into the cutscene there. And let's immediately go into the next water level. Except I forgot this is Crystal Caves. I've mentioned DK64 several times already in this video, so I will clearly not mention it in this one. And because I didn't mention it, people got so pissed off that my channel just turned into one of those, like, channels that makes gummy versions of two liters and then cuts them in half with a 10,000 degree knife. And also Justin Bieber who remixes. And like, what else is hip with the kids today? Gary Oldman. Oh, hey. That's... interesting physics on that bridge. Now, can I wall jump off of these, uh... But no, because we're falling. And then it turns out that these are actually just rupee models, and then the people playing the game are like, it's just a fucking rupee. Points if you get that reference is going on here? Why am I reminded of, like, the Mario Sunshine goop map textures? Like, seriously, what even is this? I don't know, it's weird. There's a scuttlebug. It must have make, immediately make a scuttlebug, scuttlebug raising joke and then turn it into something worse. Oh, we've got Silver Stars. Taking hints from the DS version. I guess I'm okay with that. I was not the biggest f fan of the DS version, but uh, the Silver Star missions were not necessarily one of the worst things in it. They were a bit repetitive and unnecessary and stupidly easy because the touch screen just showed you where they were anyway, but eh, could have been worse. They could have made a missions where you have to poke an ass using the touch screen, and if you fail to poke it properly, then you become the ass. See, there was a twist that time. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Unless you did, in which case, this bush is now you. I-I-I-I have to- I, I'm gonna go ahead and promise now. Like, th this needs to be stated. I'm only doing this because running the joke into the ground is the only way that it could ever be funny. Like, it was not- it was a really fucking stupid statement in the first place. And I am now just ma I'm I'm becoming a self-parody, and I have to make th this the theme of the entire video to justify its existence, and then never ever mention it again. Because uh, I think it, I think it's already overstated its welcome, and I'm going to keep doing it for another 11 minutes. Let's see, we're at 19:39, so. I'll have to remember. 11 minutes. Also, more than six thugs. But no, I think I think I might already be done with that gimmick. I'm not gonna hold myself to those words. I might still bring it back. But 
when it does, it will be glorious. You know what's really cool about levels with multiple collectibles like this? I usually end up getting them more than once. Because I'm going to want to get the red coin star here. And that means I will have to get these silver stars again. It will take a whole three minutes to do so. Let's just pass through the red coin. And because I passed through the red coin... No, I don't know if we're going to... I don't know if I should finish that one. I, I didn't have anything planned for it, but uh, whatever it was, it was probably stupid. Also, am I stuck forever? Can I please... Can I please get out of this crystal prison? Thank you. I, I was not... I was not happy in there. I was sad inside a wall. And because I was sad inside a wall, I kept making that joke. I like these random boulders, they're my friends. Yeah, this is... What, what the hell hit me there? Stop that! Why do they do damage, like, 20 minutes after exploding? I guess they have, like, little rocks that appear. So, are there going to be any coins in this direction, or is it just going to be a stodge that I no longer want to collect? God, I forgot about stodges. I haven't mentioned those in a while. Is Dory in this cavern? Do we have to find a Dory? And then find the purpose of Nemo? Because Nemo had no purpose in finding Dory. He had, like, two lines and didn't do anything. I'm gonna get up this way. It is gonna happen. Mark my words. And also... Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna actually get up that way. It's probably doable, but it is unnecessary. So I don't remember what I was supposed to do after 11 minutes. I'm still looking at the timer. When I hit the 11 minute mark, I'm gonna do something. I just don't remember what it was. So, I don't know, I'll probably just say Stodge or something. This is, a, this is a cool room, I like this room. It reminds me of the Breakfast Club soundtrack. Which Bender was offended by. Come on. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to climb this wall, but we're gonna do it anyway. After clipping through it. I did so well that first time. Why can't we do this again? Get up the wall. Mario, do as you are told. I don't care if you're not allowed to do it, or if the rules of the game don't let you. I'm going to make you do it anyway. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. There. Did it lead to anything? Maybe? Yeah, there's a star there. I don't know how I was supposed to get that. But there's definitely no coins, and that's what I'm currently looking for. So, we get to go back, and I get to do all that again later. That's the best part of this kind of playthrough. Well, actually, the best part is me doing the, uh, uh, like, if this stupid thing happens, then what if this other stupid thing happens references, because that is now tied to this level. Although a P.O. box, in theory, could break the chain. So anyway, there's more red coins out in the main area. I'm still just trying to figure out where the main area actually is. I think it's this. Judging from the fact that there's a red coin there. Alright, ten more. 
what if this box contains all of them, but also none of them? I was right. Oh. Yeah. So this is a stupid looking suit. Um, I mean, it's the frog suit. I wasn't expecting it to be a masterpiece. But, uh, yep. I guess I'll make use of that somewhere. Stop sliding. I need two more reds. And also some cigarettes, because I promote smoking. I don't smoke myself, I just promote it. Good. I even I even saw the platform leading to it, like as I started the jump. But I was already committed to it. Well, that's a change of music. I heard very little of it and could not tell what it was supposed to be, so I guess we'll find out when I go there for realsies. Okay, now let's not not do stupid things this time. I like how just two of them are over here. Wait. Oh yeah, that's the hundred coin. I was like, why did it appear here? That's wacky, yo. And then I ate an entire can of Pringles in one bite. Alright, what's in the box? Is it gonna be weed? Nope. It was, it, it was, it was the opposite of weed. The opposite of weed is apparently ten coins. And also tin cans, because it sounds similar to ten coins. Alright, so let's go ahead and redo half of that stage now. Because that'll be fun. So if you had to choose between riding on a manatee or finding the rotting squash that your N64 turned into in somebody else's house, which would you end? Not, not which would you do, which would you end? God, this fucking video is going to make people think I'm high. Like... I am doing very little <laughs> to convince anybody otherwise. But no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just in a freaking weird mood, apparently. Okay, so I still need to do the crystal star, or the silver star thing. Actually, I haven't been this way. Let's go ahead and do this, I guess, because it's right here. Are, th are those mermaids? I absolutely disagree. There should not be mermaids here. These also look like Zelda models, but I can't quite place what they're supposed to be. Is this... Is this Zora's Domain music? I, it sounds like it might be, but just in a really weird sound font. Okay. So, so why mermaids? Can, can I talk to this one? Is it going to yell at me because of rectangles? Hey, talk to me about rectangles. Okay, fine. Camera. Yeah, this is definitely Zora's domain. It's just weird sounding. Also, it would appear that... Uh, not all of them talk to you, and also, wearing the frog suit means you have infinite air, and what the fuck is that thing? Pardon me. What is this? Sir, what is this? I, I'd like to get a better look at it, but at the same time, I also kind of hate it. Okay... 
still not quite sure what I'm doing. And I can't freaking see anything. This is a weird stage. Get up. Get up! Do it better. Always do your best, Mario. Always do. Okay, I guess we're not getting up there. Uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing much of anything to do there. Also, I believe it has been 11 minutes as of now, so stodge, since I still don't remember what the original thing was. Uh, let's find out what this thing is. Is this just a whole other level? What is going on? Okay. You've got my attention, game. Also, Mario is making no sound effects. I'm okay with that, because he's a bit noisy, but I'm not sure why. This is the fucking Water Temple music. It's very hard to tell because of the instrumentation, but that's what it is. Okay, actually, that made it more clear right there. Anyway, let's go in the pipe. What's the pipe do? Oh! I see now. Now everything is clear. The order is mattress, mattress, sheets, pillow, SpongeBob, mattress. Um. All right, let's. Eh, there's a pipe in there. Except I don't think I can get over there. Maybe with a very annoying wall jump. Let's see. Annoying wall jump. Yeah. Nope, that was a bad angle. I am still moderately, like, not confused, but just curious about the things that I am seeing. Can I, I can probably get up there with a proper wall jump. It's... I always suck at going up walls like this, because you have to, like, kick off at just the right time to make it so he doesn't, uh go out very far. Maybe with a triple jump it'll be better, let's see. <clears throat> eh, whatever. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do, so let's just wander around a bit more. Wander around the Christmas tree and a happy holidays. This is a monkey, can't you see how many monkeys are around me? Not exactly what I wanted to do, but all right. This is a weird frickin' level. Um. Okay. Yeah, this is just back to the beginning. Can I actually reach any of these things? Also, what is that over... Is that the fucking hook shot? What is that? Hold on. No, it's not a hook shot. I can't... Oh, that's a key. Okay. Well, let me go in this pipe again. And now we're back to normal colors. Does that actually change... Oh, okay. It does change the geography. I wasn't sure if it did or not. I don't know what the point of it would be if it didn't, but... It's hard to say. <laughs> And water temple music. Uh, can I land on that? Ye the answer was yes, but it raises a further question. Does Is there any benefit for me to land on that? Also, the more imp important question is, can he chase us? Okay. I think I kind of cheesed that a little bit, but, uh, works for me. I have received the key. What does the key do? No idea! S 
So, um... What's over here? What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is the new pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was kind of cool. Still don't know why there's no sound effects in here. I don't know if that's the emulator glitching out or if it's supposed to be that way. Alright, I assume that lets me get to the star then. So was I supposed to get that key by doing what I did, or did I, like, sequence break? Still didn't open up anything here. Maybe it made a bridge in the alternate reality. Mm. Oh, yeah, I guess it did. Okay. So that was a frickin' weird star. What's the name of this one gonna be? Mario goes on hallucinogens? Hallucinogens, whatever the word for that is. No, just the water temple. I mean, I guess. That, it, it's not wrong. It just, it left out key details. Alright, well, let's go ahead and, uh, re-explore some of this. I'd like to get those other stars that I encountered last time. After I struggle to get up fricking slopes. That's just the frog suit again. Can I please find the section with the spider webs again? I'd like to get back there. I don't know where it was. It also may not have actually existed. I might have imagined the whole thing. And because I was recording it, that means that even though I imagined it, Everybody else watching the video also imagined it, and that means that Christmas is cancelled. And then Sonic becomes Santa, canonically, and then something about Phalus, I don't know. And then I get corporate sponsorship from, like, Denny's. Which I've eaten at, like, maybe twice in my life. I don't know why that was a specific fact that needed to be stated. I just... I mentioned Denny's, and I'm like, huh. I haven't been there very many times. I... I... Rem I will always remember Denny's for, like... Basically not ever going there as a kid, because my... Grandma had this idea that they were racist. And it's one of those things where it's like, there might have been one case somewhere in the world where an employee was racist, and because of that, it has now, like, painted the entire company that way. But it's weird because my grandma is also racist, and we're white. So, like, I don't know why that would have particularly mattered to her. It's just like the it's like the time when uh I was with some people that uh wanted to get dinner somewhere and they're like, "Well, we should go to Outback Pe Steakhouse." And it's like, "No, cuz they pee on their steaks." And that just went completely unquestioned. And because of that, no Outback Steakhouse. I've never been to one. And if I ever do go to one, I will immediately think, they pee on their steaks, we shouldn't go there. And because I've now said this, I will get a Twitter post from Outback Steakhouse suing me for slander. They sue me through the Twitter post, and that causes Punky Brewster to... I don't actually know who she is, so I'm not gonna finish that statement. And, uh, Garmin Arnar will quit Saturday Night Live, and I will become a hobo that lives purely off of crystallized oxygen. That, that, that was the end of that statement. 
Where the hell is the section with the spiders? I've just gotten back to the beginning. I, I, at this point, I'm actually starting to believe that I did hallucinate the spider section. Because I cannot find where it frucking, frucking is. Well, it certainly isn't over there. Unless it actually is. No, I don't know. Um, I want to get that one because I've already shown it on camera. And then we can stop the video and next time I'll have, like, new stuff to collect that I haven't already gotten. I need to, like, leave a trail of breadcrumbs, but then what if Hadoos come in? Then they'll eat the breadcrumbs. And then trains will go up waterfalls. James Rolfe will put out unfunny videos for the rest of eternity. And Mike Matai will just die. I don't know why, he just does. Complications with the surgery. What surgery, you ask? Th that's a bit private, actually, so I, I shouldn't go there. So... I just realized I got the, sp the star in the spider section and then immediately afterwards forgot so like forgot that I did and started looking for it again and said that it didn't exist that's probably a new record for me forgetting things like I think I forgot it while it was happening I, I wish I could prove that I'm not high because this video is giving every bit of evidence to the contrary. Like, is there is there a test I can take and put it in the video? I don't know. I'm just gonna blame Jaden Smith. It's probably his fault. Alright. So let's get this star now, if I can figure out how I'm actually supposed to do it. Probably not the fucking way I did last time. I probably just do something like this. Hey, look at that. It doesn't involve glitching up a wall. What a novel concept. Speaking of novel concept, there is a particular book that I am interested in getting on the 14th. I will probably be doing a video specifically on it. But yeah, let's, uh, let's end this freaking train wreck before it gets a chance to derail my mind any further. Um, but I will end on one more stupid statement, just for the road. So let's see. What if... House. <laughs>